Leanne is a nurse in Tennessee who enjoys staying active. I'm a dialysis nurse. I work at dialysis almost like 20 some years. So I love to cope, exercise. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm just turning 50. I love like spin class and I did some body combat, body pump and yoga. So just different kind of cardio plus strength training. Yeah, I go gym pop about at least three times a week, sometimes four or five. So it just depends on my schedule. Over the summer, Leon began experiencing sciatic pain that wouldn't go away. I always have a low back pain. I have low back pain at least 15 years. Then a lot of time I do some stretch, do some yoga class, it gone away. So I never did bother go see any doctor or anything. Toward the end of August, I was doing a body combat in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. Initially, I had some sciatic nerve pain after the class. I went to the local car park, get an appointment, and then she did the an x-ray. And then he, she looked at the x-ray. X-ray is very unstable. That was she told me. And like the L4 and L5, like slicking out, have some fracture between all um, the parts of the defection. I never recall any accident or fall or anything. Yeah. So after the class, and then that afternoon, I experienced some pain, which is from my right side, my right button, and toward the my leg. The pain rapidly worsened, sending her to an urgent care facility where they prescribed her steroid packs and muscle relaxers. Pain was ex very painful. My right side, all the way down my leg. So I was seeing chiropractor that Friday, of course, you know, the weekend. So she sent me to have an MRI, going to be follow up with. So at the weekend, I can't even tolerate the pain. I have to go minor clinic. They give me the sterile pack and muscle legs. I will have a hard time to sleep, to mooning around, to do like daily activity. Because I can't even walk, can't even stand. I have to buy a little roll chair, just roll around in the house. When I stood up, the, the, the pain is like feeling burning sharp pain through my lower leg, up my upper leg. It just feels like my life is over. I can walk, I can stand, I can do anything. Desperate for help, she made an appointment with a neurosurgeon near her home in Tennessee. I, I get an appointment to see a chiropractor. And of course, if they can't prescribe me any medication, or they did, they did the x-ray. They don't want to touch anything because she told me that's very unstable in the low lumbar. I make an appointment with my local um, neurology surgeon for, for evaluation. He told me that I need a L4 and L5 spine fusion. That's the only way Herman fix it for my situation. And he told me exactly what going to do, you know. They're going to do fuse the four and five one piece. They take this out, put the cage in there. Of course, they put some bone gravel there, so allow them to go a piece. And then put the screw and rock holding both sides, the bone. So that is very scary. I did not want any screw and not in my bag. I left, I told my surgeon, I said, I don't want to do fusion. But he want me to go ahead and schedule get done. I said, just let me go home think. So I did more research. Because that's something I really don't want to do. So I Google it and then do a lot of research. You know, fusion causes a lot of problems later on. It affects the joint either upper joint or lower joint. And I'm, I mean, I'm 50, but I'm not young, not old. I don't want to be, you know, have school around in my bed. But if this is the only choice, I don't have any option. Leanne learned at the Bonatti Spine Institute, hardware is never used, drastically reducing the risk of infection and allowing for a faster recovery time and a quicker return to life, pain-free. Well, I found out Bernard Spine Institute, and they, they don't do fusion. 
So initially, I go on the website. They give me a, a first call, right? It's some kind of evaluation. And then they call me, talk to me. Then after that, and then she sent me the patient advocate. We and her, we talk about them for quite a little bit. So I send an MRI over here. And then she say, they're going to let the surgeon look at it. See, I'm Canada. Leanne suffered from a condition known as spondylolisthesis, where one of her vertebrae slipped out of alignment with the spinal column, putting pressure on the spinal cord or nerve root. In Leanne's case, this was caused by a PARS defect in her L4-L5 facet joint. Well, Dr. Bernard called me the next day morning. He looked at the MRI. They told me that I have spondylolisthesis. And um, I guess a straight fracture between the four and five bilateral part defect. He's saying that I need to have three procedures. I said, oh my God, three procedures. I would never know my back is that kind of shape. This is a nightmare. Hearing how severe her condition was, Leanne booked a flight immediately and arrived at the Benati Spine Institute the next morning for her initial evaluation and had the first of her three procedures that same day. So he told me that, then asked me uh, how soon I can get here. I said, well, I'm going to get a fire ticket right away. So next day morning, we, I mean, the same day we get the ticket, and next day morning we fly here. So when the initial coming in here, and then I see, you know, some of the patients walking in, you know, they did like part of a similar procedure like what I get. And they're walking and then I have talked to certain patients while they're in the lobby waiting. It makes me feel more confident. At the Benati Spine Institute, procedures are performed using conscious IV sedation, where the patient remains awake and able to communicate with their surgeon to ensure the source of their pain is eliminated before they leave the operating table. I like it, I really like it, because I don't want to be like, go sleep. I want to be away some. They tell me if uh, my back hurting, just tell bad, your leg hurting, leg, you know. The pain here? No. Pain here? No, sir. Pain in the back? No, sir. Back? No. So after the surgery, they take me to the recovery room. Dr. Bernard come in. He did a little exam like, Get me hold my legs up, you know, do all that, then he gone. He has, I guess, uh, you know, look like everything's okay. Right now, I deal with more pain in the incision side, and that's it. It's giving us both time off work. Still feeling good? Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, good. I mean, you know, any look straight when you're walking. He told me the first couple of weeks, make sure just walk, don't do anything, just walk. Walk is your best exercise right now. Leanne wants everyone to know that you don't have to have a spinal fusion. There are other options. She highly recommends anyone with neck or back pain contact the Bonatti Spine Institute. Oh yeah, I would definitely tell them, uh, let them know that you have an option. You don't have to do a spine fusion. They could take care of your back, you can walk again.